Hello guys, it is Sal9 and today I'm going to show you guys a really insane true god mode glitch in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 on Ancient Evil. Now sorry if my voice sounds a little bit different, I'm sick right now, but hopefully it's not that bad. But anyways, that's perfect for that and let's get right into the founders. Now the founders of this glitch are going to be down below in the description, so make sure to check them out. Down below Sal9 sent me, but anyways, that's perfect for that and let's get right into this glitch. So with this glitch, you do not need anything before the game, you got to load up with absolutely anything. And now there is one negative, and that is that you do need two players, but when you do go to the create class, you can load up, like I said, with absolutely anything. So once you guys load up, and once you guys get two players, you guys want to go over to the center of the world. Once you guys are at the center of the world, you want to die from a death barrier, which is going to be right there. And the way you do that is by coming all the way over there, and just run from this point all the way over to that point right there. And here's when I do it. So you guys want to run right to that pole right there, kind of on the left, and just keep on running forward. Then you guys want to stop once you hit this point, and you should see that you should start getting damaged by a death barrier. At this point, you just want to simply die from the death barrier, just stand completely still, and you will see that instead of going down and having to bleed out time, you're going to instantly die. And what you guys are going to do after this is you want your friends to end the wave. Once he ends up killing that zombie, you're going to spawn back in. Once you spawn back in, you do not want to die. What will happen is you're going to instantly die. As you guys can see, it happened right there. So just don't die from any zombies if you're the person that just got hit by the death bear because you will instantly die and there will be no bleed outs and you're going to have to just do this on the next round. So what you guys are going to do after this point is you guys are going to be getting any of the gauntlets and you guys want to start getting the gauntlets and upgrading them. Now you guys want to stop just at the point where you're just about to go to the portal because you have to do something certain. Now the person with the instant death wants to go in the portal and then he wants to die by the zombies. So just get a group of zombies and just kill yourself with the zombies. You guys do not want to complete this because if you complete this then the glitch will not work. And once you guys do end up dying you guys are not going to bleed out and just get teleported back. What's going to happen is you're going to instantly die and just fully die, which you're going to see that happen right there. I died and I did not spawn back. I just fully died out. What you guys want to do after this is you guys want to have your friends end the wave so you spawn back in. And keep in mind that wherever the most amount of people are, are going to be where you spawn. So for example, if the most amount of people are in spawn, then you're going to spawn and spawn. But like you see in the footage, if the most amount of people are in the river of sorrows, that is where you're going to spawn. You're not going to spawn and spawn, just you spawn where the most people are. So just keep that in mind. I recommend you guys go to the river of sorrows with this glitch and you'll see why later. And if you guys want to get the other players to do this glitch, is you want them to get this certain gauntlet or just another gauntlet and they can just switch it with another gauntlet. So they can do this glitch for themselves. So when it comes with the other players, you just simply want them to rinse and repeat what you just did. And you guys can see in the background, I am in complete god mode right now. None of the zombies can get me and they are totally ignoring me. And when you're in this glitch, absolutely no zombies can get you. That means the Blight Father and the big guy cannot get you. You're perfectly fine from every single zombie. So like I said, if you guys want to get the other players in this glitch, simply have them rinse and repeat. So have them go to the death barrier, have them die from the death barrier, and then they should instantly die. Then you guys want to end the wave. And then you guys want them to go through the portal, and then you want them to die, and they should not spawn back, they should instantly die. And you just want everybody to do that in your game, if you want all the players in this god mode. Just make sure you keep in mind that once you're in this god mode, you guys cannot leave this area, because all the portals, you just simply, you cannot go through any portals, and you cannot activate any elixirs. And... You won't be able to do the easter egg with this glitch sadly just because there's one part with the easter egg where you have to have all of the gauntlets upgraded and it just won't work. So sadly you cannot use this for the easter egg, you can only use this for high rounds. So just have your friend instantly die in that room and then he will have it too and like I said rinse in peace and everybody will have it. And once everybody ends up getting it, have everybody come over to this certain location so make sure that everybody is in this location once they do spawn back so they spawn back here. And the reason why you want to be in this location rather than the one that Z Signal shown is because they only pile up in two spots in this location and just make sure you keep this door right here closed because if you open it then it's just going to mess up this whole type pile up and this will not be as good so just make sure you keep that closed because with the other one that Z Signal shown you have to have I think like two doors closed but this one only one and there are only two zombie pile ups with this and another reason why this is really good is because if you come over here, there is this weapon right here and you guys can pack a punch this weapon and you guys are literally right next to this weapon so you guys can just come over here, buy ammo and just keep on taking out the zombies. So just make sure you pack a punch this and this is in my opinion the best place to go on this map when it comes to the pileup. 
so it definitely sucks that you cannot do the easter egg with this map but i mean it's still really good for pile ups and in my opinion this is by far the best pile up glitch just because this one you don't have to worry about anything the blight father won't get you and when the blight father does come just make sure you just keep an eye out because the blight father will not pile up he'll just walk around the map so you're gonna have to kill him like that so that's really about it for this glitch if you guys have any questions ask me down below and i will reply asap and just definitely stay tuned because i do have more epic stuff planned for you guys so definitely if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button drop a like and all that good stuff but anyways that's about it for that and let's get right into the trick questions so the answer to the last trick question is going to be incorrectly good job to space dive seven for getting this right thank you so much for participating definitely means a lot make sure to check out space dive seven down below description and tell space dive that's how it sent me but anyways that's about it for that and let's get right into the next trick question so the next trick question is going to be no sooner spoken than broken what is it answer that down below and if it's the first person to get the right then you comment and you will get your next video we only get one shot up per week that's about it hopefully you enjoyed please do comment and subscribe to be part of the ninja team today because normally a ninja, you have to be silent, and I'm called Silent 9. But anyways, that's been it. Peace out. See you in the next video. Have a great day. Yeah. Last night, life went way too rad, right? I've been making hits and making tracks, you know, the mad like I've been feeling way too fucking savage. And my parents saying that I'm living way too fucking lavish.